there's, there's an element of luck, but when uh, you look at the thousands of photographs, there's also a, an awful amount of talent that's just out there that's obviously enhanced by the, uh, by the, you know, by the technologies enhancing it, but it's not necessarily, there's still a, a high degree of skill involved in making a really good photo. So, and as you can see, you know, some of the photos are just, you know, stunning. It's an intrinsic thing. You just look at it and you know if it's a great piece of art or it's not. Um, and, you know, after you look at thousands of photographs, you get really good at it. <laughs> something that stands out, something that is, is, there was a lot of, for instance, there was a whole heap of trees that were taken from, you know, uh, along the trunk. But there was one here that was just an amazing shot. And it was just, that's that level of talent that you look for, the, that little it factor that they have. There was a lot of uh, kids that come from different backgrounds. Uh, that comes out in your, the, the images as well. I noticed there was also a, a few images there that were uh, culturally different to, let's say, the, what we would say in the Northern Territory, the white fellow image versus the black fellow image, you know. So, yes, they, there is. They definitely they, they push the boundaries. The younger they are, they don't have that sort of that fear. They just push the boundaries. When you consider how young some of these students are and, and the talent that they've got already, I, you know, look out. <laughs> when you've got a digital camera, anybody can take a good photograph. Technically, it doesn't take anything these days to take a good photo. Your phone can take a good photo. It, what you're looking for now is much actually harder. These kids have got a much harder view because they've actually got a, the, the technology has increased. Before, you know, when I was very young, you used to have to have a film camera and you used to understand about light and all the rest of it. Now, the algorithms in the back of the camera do all that for you. So, yes, it's much, much more difficult now. So to get a great image, you must have a thousand photos on your phone. There's some photos there that you've got that are just amazing images and then there's 999 of them that are just normal images. So that's what we're looking for. We're looking for that story that the child has that it factor, that just that little bit more. Look for a story. Look to tell a story with your image. That's what I'd say to them. It's about finding... Uh, finding and a story that's current as well like a refugee story or a story about hardship or a story about the wilderness or the in where I work up in the Northern Territory the, the distances and 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 uh, working with the indigenous it's it's you know the color and the excitement and they've just got beautiful smiles you know that's what I'm looking for so, as a judge